This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the YMCA of the Chesapeake. You know, if there's one thing that we all probably want for the new year, it's to stay healthy. It's not always the easiest thing to do, especially over the last couple of weeks that we've had. But it's so important to make your health a priority for obvious reasons, so that's exactly what we're doing today. Our focus is on something that affects 29 million people diabetes. And joining us this afternoon is Bridget Wheatley. She's the Diabetes Prevention Program Coordinator at the YMCA of the Chesapeake. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for having me. Mm -hmm. So diabetes is re really a problem. Diabetes is a serious disease and here at the YMCA of the Chesapeake we're talking about prevention of that diabetes. You mentioned the fact that 29 million people have diabetes. There's actually 86 million of us that are considered at risk or pre-diabetics. So in order to address that, we really have to do on a national level, get the word out about what pre-diabetes is. And diabetes is a disease where our body does not utilize our sugar mm -hmm. um, or blood glucose, however you want to say that. Um, and there's two types. There's a type one, and the type one is basically our body cannot utilize the sugar or store it because our body does not simply make insulin. Type two, which is the one that our program program is addressing is more based on our lifestyle, over the years, our unhealthy habits, our bodies become resistant. We have insulin, but our body is not responding to it. So that's what the program is addressing, those pre-diabetics. Do you think there's a lot of people that don't know they have diabetes? There are many people that don't know that they have pre-diabetes. As I mentioned, 86 million is a lot. That's a lot. There's one in three of us that are walking around so-called with pre-diabetes. Um, and you know that you're a pre-diabetic by certain risk factors, mm -hmm. and one of those risk factors factors is your weight. So if you have a BMI that's 25 or above, that puts you at risk. And then also our blood value for blood sugars. When we go for an annual visit to our doctor, they may tell you, oh, your sugar's a little high. We want to know more than your sugar is a little high. No, a little you want to ask specific questions about your blood glucose fasting, right. which is about 100 to 125, which is at risk. And you also want to know about your A1C, okay. which is a 5.7 to 6.4, that will put you at risk. So tell me a little bit more about the, the Diabetes Prevention Program. The program is a community-based program where those that fall into those risk categories right. come together in small groups to support each other on a life journey of change. And it is a life journey because you will be practicing healthy eating, healthy activity for the rest of your life. If you have family members that have had diabetes, you know what that's like. And lifestyles are very similar that you have had as your parents. And that's not easy to change. It is not easy to change. And what's beautiful about the group is that we all share the same barriers or the same struggles. So you don't feel alone in the group. And you can share in a trusting environment. And you can problem solve. And you can do certain things. Okay, you got me hooked on this. Who can participate? Those that can participate are those um, 20 years and older. Mm -hmm. And then I also mentioned those blood values of a BMI um, greater than 25 and also your um, blood sugars. Right. Those that don't have a primary care physician, say, or are unable to get their blood work drawn, there is also a questionnaire that can be completed that can qualify you. Okay. And those qualifying questions would be age, do you have an uncle, do you have a grandmother, grandfather. And also, if you were pregnant and developed diabetes, that's called gestational diabetes, right. that will also qualify you. You've seen some great changes in people, haven't mm -hmm. you? I have. What have it's you seen? very rewarding. Um, usually by um, the program is 16 weeks in the very beginning it lasts an entire year but usually by week nine when people have been successful after every week going home yeah. and tackling those few little things there's joy there's a brightness there's an alertness to them um, and it is a year-long program because lifestyle change is difficult and you may have a little lapse but you know you still are there a month later and talking with those and making changes in your life you because can still make the changes. yes you can 
Bridget, yes, you can. thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Wonderful having you this afternoon. Now, if you'd like to read more about the Diabetes Prevention Program at the YMCA of Chesapeake, including locations, you can go to DelmarvaLife.com.